Hey everyone, Xanagir here. Derek chimed in on the Discord, the Spelunky 2 official Discord this evening, and I thought a lot of you would be very interested in what he had to say, and I thought I would also give my thoughts on it. I haven't scripted anything from this video, so apologies if I uh, ponder and, and sit here and, and kind of uh, mumble a little bit uh, about my thoughts on everything he said, but first I will go through and read the first message he sent, which was, hey everyone, that's my line, uh, I wanted to chime in directly on Tidepool slash Temple and how I feel about the concept of balance in general, since it generates a lot of discussion here. So first, let me preface by saying a few things. One, I'm not against buffing Elixir. You put a little caveman pog. Two, the same person spamming the same feedback isn't that helpful. Getting angry because you think the fix is so obvious isn't that helpful. Please listen to the warnings from mods about that. It has nothing to do with the feedback itself, but how it's presented and whether or not it's contributing to a healthy community here. Toxic feedback can make it harder for changes to get made because we know that making those changes validates the toxicity. Three, if we do end up making a change, please don't think that it was so easy to do and wonder why we didn't do it sooner. With the game released and so many moving parts, it can take time to evaluate what to do, and we have lots of things we're working on at any given moment that need to be prioritized. Okay, so for me personally, when I see balance as a reason in and of itself to make a change, it doesn't move me much. I know it seems like balance is game design 101, and in a lot of ways, it is, but that's the thing. It's like an introduction to game design. Over time, I've come to see it as a tool for designing games, not something that is inherently good. It can be very dull. Imagine a perfectly balanced fighting game. That would mean every character is the same. Or imagine balancing all the mountains in the world by making the tallest ones less tall, or giving the shorter ones worse views because they're easier to climb. That's partly why I'm approaching the balancing of Temple more slowly and carefully than some players would like. I think it's interesting that Temple is considered a rough place. I like that there's easy slash hard routes built into the game. Um, and then he uh, went on in another message, but I will comment on a couple things here, which is the sen the fact that the, no, none of what he said is is uh, entirely new for him. He's, he's stated this in on podcasts and in other interviews that he feels a certain way about balance in video games. And I basically agree with him. Um, a lot of people approached Temple in a way that was, this needs to be equal to Tidepool to make the game good, which isn't the case because games being good, a game being good and, and interesting is obviously very subjective but specifically with spelunky temple needs to be it different in a lot of ways than tide pool temple needs to be interesting temple needs to be a challenge temple needs to be something else it can't you can't just put a clone gun in temple and then fix the game because that makes temple less interesting inherently um so having temple be this weird challenge obviously the elixir is not very good um which is another thing i'll go into uh but temple being another way to play the game is very interesting and obviously does have its benefits in spelunky too for score runs for an alien compass um it's 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 very interesting and isn't necessarily equally balanced but at this point it is fairly balanced it's not equal it's 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 interesting and and, and fun and also offers a different way to play the game whenever you're getting sick and tired of doing the same thing over and over again uh low percent is something that i run a lot and i really want to start doing low percent through jungle and temple because that's a, a much more difficult category that I haven't finished yet. So um, I will go on to a second second. I'll go to my second slide now, uh, which is 
Actually, I don't know if I have too much more to say, but the end goal will definitely not be to make Temple a place that is played as much as Tidepool. There are already reasons to go to Temple, like score or playstyle or filling your journal, or other specific types, types of runs. We can't only consider optimal runs by players who understand the game inside and out, but also that area has its own personality now, partly intentionally, partly intentional and partly not, and I'd like to not destroy that for the sake of balance. Not against an elixir buff though, or other suggestions to make Temple more worth it or more interesting. It's always great to hear what people think, so don't take this as a wet blanket on feedback, but I thought it'd be helpful to let you know why we're treading carefully with the changes. So the elixir buff is really interesting because obviously a lot of people have posed a, many different types of elixir buffs. Uh, and for those, if anyone doesn't know, the elixir heals you for, um, I forget, is it eight health or six health? Um, I think it's six and also gets rid of curse. But if you do, if you're not careful, you can make the elixir too good. If, if it prevents curse, it's it's almost like if, if it like prevents curse or prevents poison, it's almost too good. It, it is it, it would be too good. You have to be very, very careful when buffing that item because you don't want to change the entire community. You don't want to change the entire game in, in one in one patch. Uh, or in one little change, um, in my opinion. Especially since we're at a very, very good spot with the game right now. Um, but we'll see what the developers think. Um, uh, he And he goes on to say, I think two balanced routes are more interesting from the perspective of trying to do an optimal run. But lopsided is more interesting when you branch out IMO. Even the discussion about the two routes outside the game is more interesting when it's lopsided. It can be too unbalanced though for sure. Personally, I like that jungle slash volcano are more balanced and tidepool slash temple are less in general. I don't know, I've always been drawn to video games that have some imbalanced parts to them. Low tier characters, weird empty rooms, stuff like that. And this is a sentiment that I strongly share with Derek. I, I went on to say in this thread uh, talking about Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 1 is a very, very weird game developed. Um, it felt, I don't know if it, I don't know if I'm correct, but it felt hasty with some of the additions that got went on to go unfinished, but then make it feel like some sort of, I don't know, uh, archaeological dig site that you're going through where you're like uncovering things that you feel are unique to you because maybe someone else won't care about this weird thing the valley of drakes is just weird it's got like one ring in it and a bunch of dragons that are not used anywhere else in the game and all together has its own like you know title card when you enter it uh no boss fight no like special features just a big valley with a tower at the end of it um and dark souls uh, obviously uh Ro the lost isolith which is the, the worst has the worst boss fight in souls i don't think anyone would disagree there um but that game has uh, the, the, that level lost isolith has uh, a lot of weird things that made me drawn to it when i first played it even it, though it's not good um or it's definitely not balanced that game is you know broken left and right and it makes it interesting. It, it makes it really interesting. And obviously it's weird because we didn't have direct feedback with uh, from software like we do with Blitworks and Derek. So it's it, we're in a bit of a weird position as a community uh, with them listening to us so rapidly and iterating on the game. You know, they like they they <laughs> Derek seems to take the stance that they're changing things slowly and taking time and it's like they've been it's been seven months and they've made like you know 200 changes at the community's request plus um so it's it's really really fascinating uh then he says by the way it is an arcade style game in the end so i don't want to lean too heavily on the real life metaphors in other words i don't think temple should just just be a place for sightseeing it should have some actual gameplay reasons to make it worthwhile but it's okay if it isn't the optimal route for most runs actually even if we tried our hardest to balance the two areas one would eventually become the go-to area for optimal runs always there's always going to be a best um, sometimes the best will change based on things the community finds, but there is always going to be a best, best, best area. 
Um, so uh, then he goes on to say, right now I'm typing and everyone thinks I'm writing something really important, but I'm not. Actually, all I'm doing is making it look like I'm typing. Now I'm going to post a turkey. That is, I think, the most important thing Derek said in the uh, entire conversation tonight. Uh, but uh, I'd love to see what you guys think in the comments. Please let me know what you think about Temple versus uh, Tidepool Balance. I have like written scripts about this topic and never, and never finished them or never recorded them multiple times because I think it's such an interesting thing to discuss. But... I always felt it was too early to like finish the video and get it done because I knew things were just going to be changing. Um, but this discussion is about the change and about what could be coming. So uh, yeah, so let me know what you think in the comments and I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.